Mum watched Maui come into the kitchen and place a pile of flax on the table. Eh, Maui boy, what are you going to do? She asked. Mum, I'm going to catch that son for you. That son who's always on the run. That son who makes our house so cold. That son that makes you feel so old. Eh? Mum frowned. Leave it alone, boy. What can you do? Maui flicked his brow and smiled. I can do more than you know. That son moves too fast. I'll make him move slow. Maui's brother Taha walked into the room. Maui, you mischief maker. What are you going to do? Taha, Maui replied. There is never enough time to get anything done. Let's change that. Let's catch that son. What are you talking about, bro? Taha frowned. We don't have enough sunscreen for that. That sun will burn our butts. Maui began weaving the flax. Taha, he said. I know you have dreams. I know you have hopes. Let's work together. Let's make some ropes. Maui, you trickster. What are you going to do? Maui's brother Roto asked as he came through the door. Roto, we have lived in darkness for too long. No one hears our cries, no one hears our song. You think too much, said Roto, rolling his eyes and turning on the television. Sit down and watch the rugby man. Maui turned the TV off. Brother, it is time to wake. It is time to stand. Help us weave this flax into rope. It's all part of my plan. Maui's brother Pai walked into the kitchen and found everyone sitting around the table weaving flax. He looked at Maui. Maui, you troublemaker. What are you going to do? He asked. Maui answered. Pai, gas up the car. We've got a long drive ahead to reach Tera. Oh, we What are you up to now? Pai sighed, shaking his head. Maui looked at him. Pai, Many of our people struggle to survive. I'm going to change that. Tonight, we're going to drive. The four young men were joined by their last brother, Waho. They clambered into the car and waved to mum as they drove off. They travelled for many nights. Maui, you cheeky fella. What are you going to do? Waho asked as he steered the car. Waho, Maui said. The air is warm. We are almost there. The journey was dark and long, but the end is near. Maui the poet, eh? Always out to be the hero, Waho grumbled. We should never have listened to you. Maui smiled. Waho, to make things better, there must be change. Now stop the waka. Tera's pit is in range. The five brothers climbed out of the car. They walked in darkness to the edge of the pit where the sun lived. So Maui, what are we going to do? The brothers asked. Maui studied the ground. We need to be able to hide. We will build a wall of clay. We must work only at night. Tera will see if we are out in the day. And then what? The brothers growled. Maui held up the flax ropes. Then we will take these vines that wind and bind us, and together we will catch the sun in our net. Our ropes are magic, but we must hold strong. Tera will fight to rise and set. Later, the mighty sun peeked over the side of the earth and began to rise. But he soon found himself trapped in a large net. He pushed against the ropes, but they wouldn't budge. He glared about to see who was responsible for his trap. His huge eyes found a tiny person. Eh, man-child, what are you doing? He boomed. Maui bowed. Good morning, son. Sorry to surprise you, 
I just wanted to see your face. You can see mine too. You are such a small thing. Why do you try and stop me, Tamanui Tera? Maui looked for his brothers, but they were hidden behind the walls of clay, holding the flax ropes tight. Maui turned to the sun. The magic of my ropes will hold you. The magic of my words means that you cannot burn me. See the magic jawbone of my grandfather. Know that I represent my family. The sun pushed against the ropes, trying to bear down on Maui. E Maui, tiki tiki ataranga, you trickster! What are you going to do? Maui smiled. My ropes will slow you down. You will drift across the sky, and people will see my ropes reaching down whenever you're up high. The sun flared flames of red, yellow, and orange. Let me go! He roared. Maui calmly placed his hands on his hips. Eh,、yes, son, your shine and warmth are magnificent, but we cannot see you in the night. Let all enjoy your greatness. Let all live in your light. The sun was quiet. He looked around. He liked Maui's words of magnificence and greatness. They made him feel special. The anger faded from the sun's eyes. He studied Maui. "Eh,、hey, son," Maui asked, "What are you going to do?" The sun sighed. "I, Maui, the past should not come too fast. Loosen the ropes, and I will move slowly for you. I will make the days longer." I will see how much you do. Maui and his brothers loosened the ropes, and the sun began to climb ever so slowly into the sky. Maui watched as the sun proudly puffed himself up for all to see. He was like a king looking over his kingdom. Maui's brothers stood with him, all looking up at the sun and enjoying the warmth and light. The ropes are holding. Taha beamed. Tera agreed to go slow. We did it. The brothers cheered, except for Maui, who was looking towards the sea. Hey, Maui, Taha asked, "What are you going to do now?" Maui smiled. "I'm going fishing," he said.